Hey guys, welcome back to another Management 4 tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be improving on the auto aim system that I made previously. So, that was just a one part series on creating the auto aim system for third person and first person. But in today's video, I'm just going to be improving on it a little bit. So, making some slight changes, but it should help improve it and improve the efficiency of it quite a bit. So, one thing is at the moment, you may be able to see that we can only aim on one enemy. So, I have two different types of enemies here, but we can only aim on this one. So, that's one. The second AI I've made has this arrow above it but it's not going to aim onto it. So if you have multiple enemies, it's only going to work on one. So what we're going to do is we're going to fix that. And then we're also going to change it because I put it off of event tick. That's obviously not efficient at all. So although it's going into a branch, so it's not going to be constantly doing it, it's still going to be constantly checking that branch, which obviously we don't want to do. So we're going to fix that today and improve upon this quite a bit. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to open up the code where I have it. So basically I have these two different AIs here. All I did was I just duplicated it, gave it a different name and put an arrow above its head. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up our character blueprint where we have this code. So for me, that's this character here. This is in the Anim starter pack. And also part one, I'll link in the description down below. But the code you should have is something which looks a lot like this. So you can see we have get all likes of class for just that one AI here and it's off of event tick. We're going to fix this now. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to make it so it's not off of event tick. So I'm just going to delete the event tick there, and delete these reroute nodes here for the delta time here. So we do still need the delta time, so we'll fix that in a minute. Come back up here to the start of the code. I'm just going to right click. I'm going to get a custom event. I'm just going to call this one auto aim like so, and plug that into the branch there. So now on a custom event, instead of an event tick, we're going to be doing the auto aim code. To make this a loop, because the event tick was obviously a loop, it does every single frame. What we want to do is we want to come down to the end of the code here, so under the set closest actor of the get distance to. We're going to come off that, and we're just going to call function auto aim. So now when it gets to the end of here, it's going to redo it. But actually, we need to move this down, and in between these, we also need to get a delay. Sorry, so hold on D, left click, get a delay, and plug that in between here. In here, we're going to set it to something very small, like 0 0.005. And now we just need a delay there, otherwise this will be an infinite loop and it won't work. But having that very small delay there means it has time to finish this code and call it again. So this little delay here, because of how small it is, you won't visually see anything, you won't notice the difference, but it just allows the code to work. So we can compile that. But now, how do we start this? What we need to do is back up on our aiming here, off of pressed, we just need to call this again. So call function auto aim, just put it on pressed like that. Now that means when we go into aim, it's going to call this. After it's finished this code, it will call it again and continually do that until we either auto aim is turned off or we're no longer aiming. So that's that first part done. Now what we want to do is we want to change this get all access of class so it's no longer an AI and it's every single enemy that we have. So to do that, we're just going to delete the get all access of class there and in its place, we're going to come out completed and get all actors of class with tag. So now it's going to get all the actors of class with a certain tag on it the execution into the for loop again, out actors into the array of the loop, and into these reroute nodes here again, like that. The actor class, what we want to do is we want to just put this as actor. So it's going to get all of the actors with this class. So this, we don't want to be our AI, we just want this to be an actor. The tag, I'm going to set this to be enemy. So you can set this to be anything you want, but enemy makes the most sense for me. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to select that, hit Control C to copy it. Now we can compile and save, although we also actually need to plug this into here as well. So let's get all access of class, just come from up there, like that, and then I think there's one more, oh that's already connected. So compile, save, that's that part of the code done. Now we just need to make it so our AI have this tag here. So to do that, we just minimize this and open up our AI here. So I've got AI and AI1, just open up all of your enemy blueprints that you have. Then just select the self, so select self up here for me, AI1 self. Top right details, search for tag, you have tags there, hit the plus on the array elements, and set this to your enemy. So I hit Control V to copy in the text there. The reason I copied it is just so it's spelled the exact same way as that does matter. Capitals matter as well. So that's good. I've done it for that one. So compile, save, close that. Do it on my other one. Again, select it. Search for tags, plus tag, enemy. Compile, save like that. So again, just make sure you do this on every single enemy that you have. Close that, and now this should work a lot better. One other thing we need to do as well before we test this is down in the R interp 2, we have this delta time. What that was before was the delta time from our event tick. But as we don't have the event tick, we're just going to come out of this. We're going to get world delta seconds. So that's the exact same thing. We're just getting it from here instead. And all this is, is it means that whatever the player's frame rate is, it's going to get the seconds in there. So bring delta time in seconds, meaning that whatever frame rate the player has, it's going to be smooth for them. So now if we hit play to test this, you can see that this is going to work. So we're going to auto aim onto this enemy here. And then if we go over here to this other enemy, it will auto aim on them as well. 
And now you probably won't notice too much of a difference with the event tick that we did at the moment, but that's just because I only have four enemies here. But if you have a lot more, or if your game's a lot bigger, you would be able to tell a big difference, as we're not doing it every single frame now, we're only doing it when we need to. So this works a lot better. So we can auto aim onto any enemy that we have. So if we have multiple enemies from different classes, or different actors, sorry, we can auto aim onto them as well, and it's no longer on event tick. So that works perfectly. So I think now with this video is we've done everything we wanted to do. We've changed it to make it more efficient so it's no longer off of event tick. And we can have multiple actors in here so it's not just one AI actor. It works perfectly for however many enemies that we want to have. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.